Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in to the room. Come on in. Welcome the Lord into your presence wherever you are tuning in from. Come on in. Take a load off and let's share a word of encouragement. Today's word of encouragement is from Jesus Always and it is entitled Living in Close Communication. But before I share a word of encouragement, I always like to start with what I am grateful for. Today, I am grateful for the opportunity to have the freedom to vote, be able to go out there and exercise my voting rights. And so if you haven't had a chance, I encourage you and I pray that you will seek the Lord and go out to the polls before they close. And because I am so pro-life, I ask that you pray, making and voting for uh, life, looking for those candidates that reflect pro-life choices. And I ask you to seek the Lord before you go to the polls today. And it's a very, very critical um, task that we have today. And it's a privilege to get to do that. So for those that don't know who I am, I'm Imelda. And again, today's word of encouragement comes to us from Jesus always. And it's a reflection of Psalm 16 and 8. And for your hearing, living in close communication with me can be a foretaste of heaven. It is wonderful, but it requires a level of spiritual and mental concentration that is extremely challenging. In the collection of Psalms, David wrote this about this wonderful way of living, declaring that he had set me always before him. As a shepherd, he had plenty of time to seek my face and enjoy my presence. He, in, he discovered the beauty of days lived with me always before him and beside him. I am training you to live this way too. It is an endeavor that requires persistent effort and determination. Yet rather than distracting from what you are doing, your closeness to me will fill your activities with vibrant life. Whatever you do, do it for me, with me, through me, in me. Even menial tasks glow with the joy of my presence. When you do them for me, ultimately nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate you from me. So this delightful you and me together adventure can continue throughout eternity. Again, this is a reflection of Psalm 16 and 8. And let's take a look at that Bible verse. So this particular Psalm 16, it's the joys and benefits of life lived with companionship with God, companionship with God. We enjoy these benefits now and in, into eternity. So 16, and I'm going to read 7 and 8. I will bless the Lord who guides me even at night. My heart instructs me. I know the Lord is always with me, and I will not be shaken, for he is right by my side. So I firmly believe the Lord is by my side, and we have to remember to acknowledge him. Beloved brothers and sisters, it is human nature that we make our own plans, and then we go to the Lord and ask him to bless them. Instead, we should seek his will first before we do anything by constantly thinking about the Lord and seeking him and his ways the way he wants us to live with him and through him we will gain insight that will help us make good decisions and live the way of the Lord the way he desires us to live so I encourage you to communicate with God always, no matter how simple the task for the day is. When I get up for prayer in the morning, I ask the Lord real simply to guide me. Sometimes that is the start of my prayer. It's extremely simple and it aligns. I ask him to align me to his will for the day. So God allows him. So with God allows, it allows 
him to counsel us. So when we start with him, that allows him to counsel us and to give us the wisdom required for the day. So I invite you, beloved brothers and sisters, to start your day. And not just start, but throughout the day, reflect on the Lord, ask him for your guidance. Just like I said, if you haven't voted today, pray before you go out to the polls and ask him to guide you. No matter who is elected today, in our polls, we know that God is still in control and we have to remember that. There are so many critical issues and so many things that we have to keep before us to keep our nation secure and continuing to prosper. So I encourage you to vote today. I encourage you to pray to the Lord before you do that. So let us pray together. Pray, uh, gracious God, Lord, because we praise you, Lord, because you have taught us well. Even at night, you have put instructions deep within our mind and in our hearts. We always remember you, Lord, because you're at our side all the time. And so we thank you that you're always with us. And Lord, we pray that you remember you remind us to ask for guidance every single day, even for the menial task. And Lord, I pray for all those that have not gone out to vote yet today, that they feel the unction from the Lord, from you, Lord, to go out and vote, but that they pray and align their voting to your will, whatever your will is for the area where they live, for our whole nation, Lord, we pray for our nation it's a very critical, critical um, time, a critical uh, um, voting day for all our entire nation. And for our various areas, there's many things on the ballot that we are we need to be prayful for, Lord. And I ask that we select candidates that are pro-choice pro and that we can we stop. We stop the madness of this cycle of abortion, Lord. We find the opportunity to and within each of the decisions we make today to start building a foundation that will turn some of these decisions that are out there in jesus name i pray amen amen i never like to leave my broadcast without asking you to make jesus your lord and your savior and again uh if you're not sure what to do after you do that you can always leave me a, a message down below or you can DM me directly and I will pray with you and guide you through your believer's journey. I would absolutely love to do that. Again, if you come across this as a replay and it doesn't matter how old it is, it does not matter. The reason you came upon it is because the Lord was seeking you and he has given you the opportunity to make him your Lord and your Savior. And it's really simple. All you have to do, I'm extend my hand out to you virtually. And you just have to repeat after me. Gracious God, I am a sinner. Please forgive me for my sins. I believe Jesus died for me. And by his blood, I am forgiven. You remember my sins no more. I ask you, Jesus, to live inside of me. Give me a new heart. I make you my Lord and my Savior. Jesus, take control of my life. Amen. Amen. Now, I believe if you prayed that prayer that you have invited the Lord to be your, um, he has forgiven your sins and you've invited him into your home, your life, into your heart, into your life to be your Lord and Savior. And again, if you're not sure how to navigate as a believer, or if you need to recommit yourself, that prayer works just as well for those that are believers, but need to recommit themselves. So I invite you, if you need uh, guidance, to please leave me a message and I will call you back, get in contact with you, to pray with you, and talk about your believer's journey. I want to thank you for allowing me into your private space, being a part of this prayer today. And I encourage you to share this broadcast on your timeline so that it may be a light, not just on my timeline, but on yours. And we just never know who is in need of this message. 
And so with that, I invite you, I encourage you to share this word of encouragement with others. Thank you so much again. God bless you.